welcome back to today's session in the previous sessions of class 10 and a chapter light we studied about reflection today we are going to discuss an another important concept phenomenon of light so before we discuss we start a chapter let us look into some examples here the first one a coin kept at the bottom of vessel when it is filled with water appears to be raised you can see from the picture Second example, a lemon kept in a glass of water appears to be bigger in size than from its original. Third, when a thick glass slab is placed over a printed letters appears to be raised. So children, what is happening in all these above cases? Let us try to explore it with some more examples. Children, you might have did this experiment Take a glass and fill the glass with water and place a pencil in it. What do you observe student? Yeah, we observe that when you view from the other side of a glass and from the top of the glass, you will observe that pencil appears to be bent from the interference. What is generally been happening? But actually, pencil doesn't bend. But for us, it appears as pencil is in bent position. So for all these above, the reason is refraction. So our today phenomena we are going to study is about refraction of light on curved surfaces Our chapter number four in class 10. So let us discuss what is so our topic is about children refraction so what is actually a refraction so let us consider this is an interface which is dividing a two surfaces okay when a light in this case when a light falls on this interface now this i call it as interface when light falls on this interface what generally happening a light bends okay so this is the actual direction of light we all know that light travels in a straight line so but in this case what is generally been happening light has bent okay such a phenomenon of light where light bends is called refraction so when does this refraction occurs when light travels from one medium to another medium what happens it changes its direction it changes its direction or bent such phenomena we called refraction of light so yahan pe kya ho raha hai light एक मीडियम से जब दूसरे मीडियम में जा रहा है जब वो इस इंटरफेस को टच कर रहा है व्हेन इट इज ओके व्हेन इट स्ट्राइकिंग इट्स इंटरफेरेंस व्हाट इज जनरली बीन हैपनिंग इट्स बेंडिंग बेंट हो रहा है व्हेन वी ऑल नो दैट लाइट ट्रैवल्स इन अ स्ट्रेट लाइन बट इन दिस केस व्हाट इज हैपनिंग लाइट हैज चेंज इट्स डायरेक्शन सच चेंज इन डायरेक्शन व्हेन लाइट ट्रैवल्स फ्रॉम वन मीडियम टू अदर मीडियम we call refraction so hope the concept of refraction is very clear refraction kya hai pata chala aapko right let us move into terms related to refraction an interface where it separates the two medium okay so this is what are the light which is incidented i call ab is what children okay what is our interface so we divide the two medium okay our ab is interface the light which is incidented that we call what incident ray so this incident ray strikes at particular point on this interface now this we call what children later i'll designate with o now this we call point of incidence clear now this is incident ray the light ray what is general this is what the direction actually the light should move in a straight line we all know that but what is happening here 
light has entered from one medium to other medium okay so what happens it bends now this we called refracted ray okay the perpendicular line which is drawn from the point of incidence now this n n dash we call normal okay so refracted ray normal and another term angle made by incident ray with respect to the normal this we call angle of incidence angle of incidence okay the angle made by refracted ray with respect to normal this we call angle of refraction so these are the terms that are related to refraction so what we have seen here in this case refraction light when it has entered from one medium to other medium it has changed its direction now the question comes why does light changes its direction we all know light travels with a speed of 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second so here in this case of refraction when light travels from one medium to other medium, it decreases its speed. That is the reason why there is a change in the direction of light. Okay, let us try to understand. So when does the speed of light decreases and when does the speed of light increases? So consider, let us travel, consider light travels with a speed of v1 and v2 in medium 1 and 2 in medium 1 and medium 2 okay let us consider this is our interface okay student so perpendicular line which is drawn this is our normal the light ray when it travels from this is incident ray when it travels from one medium to other medium there is change in direction now let us consider okay the speed of light in one medium is v1 speed of light in another medium is v2 so what is generally happening here when light entering from one medium to other medium there is a change in direction speed of light has got decreased so in this case okay velocity v2 is less than v1 and when you measure the angle angle i will be greater than angle r okay let us consider one more reason so this is our normal line okay the light ray which this is incident ray which is incidented on the interface it refracts so let us consider the velocity is v1 and it is v2 in this case case 2 velocity v2 is greater than v1 and when you measure the angle now this is angle i and this is angle r we measure the angle of incidence and refraction with respect to normal so here in this case angle i is less than angle r so in this case one what is happening student velocity v2 is less than v1 then this medium is termed as denser medium is termed as denser medium and this medium is termed as rarer medium so what is generally happening the speed of light is getting decrease in denser medium so what is denser medium a medium in which speed of light decreases so here v2 is less than v1 okay so example you can take glass water etc as a denser medium now in this case too v2 okay the velocity v2 is greater than v1 it means that okay this medium we call it as what rarer medium okay the medium in which speed of light is more we call rarer medium and this medium will become denser medium so we can conclude that 
when light travels from rarer medium to denser medium the light ray is bent towards the normal in this case when light travels from denser medium to rarer medium it bends away from the normal line is it clear student so this is what is happening during refraction so what happens during refraction the speed of light decreases when it enter from one medium to other medium the medium in which speed of light is more we call it rarer medium a medium in which speed of light is less we call denser medium so when light enters from rarer medium to denser medium it bends towards normal when light enters from denser medium to rarer medium it bends away from the normal in the case 1 and 2 we have seen that when light ray travels from rarer medium to denser medium it bent towards the normal when light ray travels from denser medium to rarer medium it bends away from the normal then let us consider the case 3 what happens when light ray travels in the direction of normal okay so whatever it may be so it is a rarer medium okay a denser medium what happens when light travels in the direction of a normal so when light ray travels from rarer medium to denser medium in direction of normal what happens the light ray does not deviates its path means no bending of light ray takes place whatever it may be if it travels from rarer to denser or from denser to rarer what happens no refraction that is no bending of light is seen here the, in this case so angle i will be equal to 0 and angle r also will be equal to 0 so these are the three cases when light ray enters from one medium to other medium is it clear student let us move into another concept so the next concept is about refractive index in order to understand the speed of light okay in order to understand the concept how why does the speed of light decreases when it enters from one medium to other medium let us try to understand the refractive index so of refraction we need to know another important concept of uh, our refraction of light that is refractive index so refractive index is n is equal to it is a ratio of speed of light speed of light in vacuum to that of speed of light in medium so it is given as n is equal to c by v it is a unitless quantity and if you need to remember that if refractive index increases remember children if refractive index increases if refractive index value increases speed of light decreases अगर रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स का वैल्यू इंक्रीज होता है तो स्पीड ऑफ लाइट डिक्रीज होता है इसका मतलब क्या है वो मीडियम जो है डेंसर मीडियम होता है अगर ओके इफ रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स डिक्रीजेस इफ रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स अगर डिक्रीजेस स्पीड ऑफ लाइट इंक्रीजेस नाउ इट बिकम्स रेरर मीडियम this is how our refractive index is related to our concept of refraction of light agar refractive index value increase ho raha hai to iska matlab speed of light decrease hota hai agar refractive index ka value agar decrease ho raha hai to speed of light get increases and always refractive index depends upon two one is nature of material and the second one is wavelength of an light so this is a concept about refraction this is a concept about refractive index. so the next concept is about relative refractive index so what is relative refractive index the refractive index of medium one with respect to the another medium is defined as okay speed of light in medium one by speed of light in medium two that is ratio of speed of light in medium one by ratio of speed of light in medium two so let us consider v1 and v2 are the speed of light in medium 1 in 2 then it can be written as n21 is equal to v1 by v2 or it can be written as n21 is equal to refractive index of 
वन मीडियम विथ अनदर मीडियम कैन बी रिटर्न एज एन टू बाय एन वन सो दट ईज रिलेटिव रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स ईज रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स ऑफ सेकेंड मीडियम बाय रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स ऑफ फर्स्ट मीडियम सो दिस इज वॉट अबाउट द टूडेज कॉन्सेप्ट वी स्टडीड अबाउट रिफ्रैक्शन सो वाई डज अ रिफ्रैक्शन अकर्स एंड वॉट हैपन्स वेन अ लाइट एंटर्स फ्रॉम रेरर मीडियम टू डेंसर मीडियम and from denser medium to rarer medium in the next session we study about the few more concept about refraction of light thank you students if you like this class please do like it share it and subscribe our channel thank you have a good day